welcome back to the Craft Beer Hub, and this is an unexpected seventh episode in the Oktoberfest beers. As many of you will know, I bought an, uh, a box of beers um, from, uh, what was it called, the Belgian Beer Company, and it was six of the Oktoberfest beers. <clears throat> well, was it? It was um, the Hofbrau, the Lowenbrau, the Spartan, the Hackershaw, the Erdinger, which is the odd one out, and I'll tell you why in a minute. What other one? The Paul Anna, that I've drunk a lot of actually since that. <laughs> the Paul Anna, uh, and yeah, that's, that's it. So, what's the odd one out out of those six there is Erdinger. Erdinger, bit, well, the reason being, Erdinger isn't one of the big six breweries, or this particular beer isn't served at the official Oktoberfest on the Wiesen. Um, or the Weissen, uh, I believe it's Weissen, as the Germans call it, um, because the sixth biggest, the sixth brewery, the, 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 the sixth brewery of the big six that I haven't had yet is these guys, Augustina. Now, Augustina is um, Munich's, I believe it's Munich's oldest independent brewery. And it started in 1328 in a monastery. I think it was called the Augustinian Monastery, um, which was, I don't think it was actually in the city walls of Munich. I think it was at, just outside the city walls of Munich. But anyway, the, every year they brew this beer. I believe it's 6.3%. It is. And this is quite unique in the fact that, well, I say unique, I'm sure it's unique in the fact that this is brewed actually in wooden barrels which gives it a really interesting flavor profile apparently that's what i've heard from a friend who has drunk this beer many many times um it's actually the friend i went with uh i went with um i went to with uh when we went to munich back in oh, when would that have been 20 jeez 20 13 maybe jeez nearly 10 years ago Wow. Um, but yeah, but on that trip, we went to the Augustina Keller, the Augustina, the beautiful, beautiful, um, almost kind of medieval, gothic Augustina Keller, right in the middle of Munich, in the kind of pedestrianised bit right through the centre of Munich. And I had a whale of a time in there. What a place, what a place, what a place. Um, but yeah, the Augustina tent in on the Wiesen in Munich, where Oktoberfest is held, that's considered the tent where you go to get the best beer. It's known by the locals as the tent that you go to to get the best beer. And I've had the Augustina Helles, and I think I've had another Augustina Lager in on that trip in Munich. But I can only really speak of the Augustina Helles. It's lovely. On draft, it's a different beast to what you get in the bottle. It's poured correctly. It's degassed, and it's the easy, easy drinking beer that you just need on your holiday so i've got high hopes for this um let's have a quick look i paid 385 for this particular beer and that was straight out of trembling madness's shop when i went to york a little while ago with john um yeah i don't think we need to waste any more time i haven't got my um schneider Weiss glass that's currently dirty it's in the dishwasher it's all warm and it's just not anywhere near good so i'm going to pour it in a different glass smoky bottle opening from the augustina I'm really excited for this, guys. I'm really excited. I hunted and hunted and hunted, and I didn't think I was going to get hold of it this year. I think they've released it really late every year. Um, and then I went into Trembling Madness, and it was just happened to be on the shelf that very day. They just started putting it on the shelf. So let's go. What have we got? Boom. Look at that. Light straw coloured beer, carbonation going absolutely mental in there. Two and a half finger white foamy head that should stick around for a little while. Um, this looks cracking. Yeah, really, really good. The benchmark for me on these beers is the Hofbrau Oktoberfest. So that one up there. Um, what a beer that was. I'm hoping that this is going to be even better. Cheers. Well, no, I better sniff it first, eh? Kind of grassy, actually. Earthy. Relatively floral. 
just touch the back of the GoPro. There are some nice sort of wafer biscuity malts in there. It's got a nice sweet edge to the aroma. But yeah, that smells quite nice. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, that's good. <clears throat> and it's different. It's different to the other beers. The Oct I thought the Paul Anna and the Oktoberfest were really, really similar in style. This is totally different. There's an earthy, grassy, floral edge to this beer that really, it's a lot more, it's a lot more of a thinker's beer. It's not overly sweet like the others are. Well, not, not that it was, well, I don't mean that the others are overly sweet. It's not as sweet as the others because they are a lot sweeter than this. This is a bit different. This is a totally different beer to the others for me. Really, really different beer. Sweet and biscuity to start and malty. And there is a sweetness, there is a sweetness. But it's really earthy in the middle. And then the back end is floral. It's kind of got a petally taste. This is different. This is this is really really different for me from the other beers. I only had the other beers a couple of weeks ago. I can remember. I can remember maybe not exactly what they tasted like, but I can certainly remember the style that they were. And this is a totally different proposition. This beer. This beer is. It's more of a thinkers beer it's more of a sip beer it's not a smash i think i said a couple of times especially on the hofbrau that and the paul anna i think i said it where i'm not surprised they're so smashed drinking this stuff because it's so easy drinking it was had that lovely sweet bready edge to it all the time and this does have that but it's just toned right back but what you do get with this is that earthy grassy middle and that floral end that kind of just kind of just reminds you to slow down a little bit and appreciate it. It's definitely more of a thinking person's beer, this. Um, and I like it for that. I actually like it for that. I mean, it'd be boring if all the beers were the same and it was just like, who's got the best sweet, bready, slightly spicy Oktoberfest beer? Because as good as the other beers were, they were, I mean, the low and brow, I mean, the low and brow was miles for me, miles off. The low and brow, it kind of went low and brow, Spartan, Paul Anna and Hofbrau. I mean, the low and brown, the Spartan really were miles off the Paul Anna and the um, and the Hofbrau for me. But this is almost in a bit of a, in a league of its own in terms of its style. But it's bloody lovely. Floral thing at the back's really late, but it's sweet petal. Anyone been ever been to one of them really fancy restaurants? They start putting petals on your dessert. It's kind of got that sweet petally taste that those have. But yeah. It's absolutely lovely. Um, in terms of Oktoberfest then, where does it sit? Um, I mean, it doesn't taste 6.3% either. I should mention that. Um, let's be real. Let's be real for a minute. Oktoberfest is a festival to go that Germans and people from all around the world go to to drink great beer, listen to great music, great German folk music, 
to listen uh, to to eat great Bavarian food, but most importantly, to get absolutely blotto with their mates, having the best time ever, where it seems nearly anything goes. Um, where does that beer sit? I mean, it's a lovely beer. For, for me, I can't fault the taste of that beer. I think it's a totally different thing. And for that reason, I will give it a five out of five. It's absolutely lovely. It's a totally different proposition. And I haven't got mad over it because it's made me think a lot more than the others did. But when you think about where this beer fits in um, Oktoberfest itself, um, it wouldn't surprise me if you find a lot more beer connoisseurs drinking this beer or in the Augustina, Augustina tent and that absolutely fits with what I'd um, been told and seen online where they talk about how the Augustina tent is the best tent to go to for the best beer because I, I believe they probably would serve the Helles and that's cracking that is absolutely cracking for no it's five something isn't it the Helles I can't remember now I can't remember four eight is it I can't remember the Helles I can't remember but I think if you're in the Augustina tent, I think you'd probably see a slightly older beer drinker um, drinking this beer. And I say that because if you're young and you're there with your mates getting absolutely gattered, I don't think this is the beer for you. I think it's slightly too strong at 6'3". Um, what was the Hofbrau? I think this was 6... Oh, no, this is 6'3 as well. No, that's fair. That's fair. Okay, so the ABV is slightly higher than the normal 6% of Oktoberfest, but I think that the flavours in there, it hasn't got that slightly sweeter edge to it that the others had to really kind of make you go back and back and back. This is more of a supping beer for me. This isn't this isn't just a smashing beer. I think you'd be I think you'd be wasting it if it was and yeah, just more of a thinking, more of a thinker's beer. But I'll tell you what, it's absolutely cracking. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Sorry for the long thing, but I think I feel like it needs to be said. That's five out of five on the Craft Beer Hub. Totally different beer. This beer is in a different league to the others in terms of flavour. Um, yeah, no, no other, no other Oktoberfest beer got near this in terms of flavour. But I still think, if I'm going to Oktoberfest, I still think I'm drinking the Hofbrau. It's lovely. But I just, you'd like to go in the Augustina tent at the end of the night and maybe have one or two of these, but it doesn't work like that with the ticketing system. So, yeah, I don't know. In terms of bottled, bottled beers where I sit and stand now, this has got the most flavour and kind of made me think the most. But a smashing beer in Oktoberfest, three or four of those, you're having a blooming good time. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. If you could leave a like and subscribe, that'd be amazing. And get in the comments let me know, have you had this? I know a few people have got, have got their hands on this now. Um, and yeah, different proposition for me. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.